Inside this tube is mounted a model rocket engine. This tube is open on both ends. I don't think it would be unreasonable to assume that if I mounted this to a rolling chassis that it would be able to provide enough thrust to propel it forward. Here's a diagram of the tube and the model rocket engine. So I think what will happen when this thing goes off, I think the, uh, the blast will draw air into the open end of the tube and the air and the uh, spent fuel from the uh, model rocket engine will exit this way. But what would happen if I would block this end of the tube off if I do another test with a, a new uh, model rocket engine installed and this end of the tube blocked off what kind of thrust would it make then? This is test number one my first attempt the igniter didn't go off I've got a new 9 volt battery I'll try this again Here's what those rocket engines look like before and after. The one on the left has not been fired and I can't see through it. And the one on the right has been fired and that one I can see through. Now that I have an idea how much thrust the uh, rocket engine makes in the uh, rolling chassis, I've decided to remove these uh, two by fours. because it's apparent that it doesn't have that much speed that it needs a guide for the wheels. So I'm removing those. So this test is actually a repeat of test number one without the 2x4 guide rails. So once again the tube is open both ends. For this next test I would like to secure the chassis and try and keep it from rolling forward with the idea of recording this end of the uh, tube. So I have uh, strips of paper taped to the end and I would like to uh, record this end because I want to see if there's signs of significant airflow as the uh, model rocket engine is burning. Okay and ready Okay, that definitely looks like there was airflow going in that tube. Okay, earlier I relocated this plywood to a different location where there was less of a breeze for that uh, paper test, but then I ended up just putting the chassis in some snow. So I've got the uh, plywood back pretty well, I think, very close to where it was before, but I will do a roll test on this chassis just to show that it rolls easy. I have the uh, wire tied up here. Alright, I will cut this uh, tie wrap off and then should be ready for the next test. So uh, I'll just zoom in here on the end. So I've got duct tape now on the uh, inlet end of that tube there. Okay, ready? <laughs> well, that was quite a difference, wasn't it? 
Okay, this is the last test. Basically, a repeat with the duct tape on the end again. So I, I've got new tape on there. And I will show again that it rolls free. But I'll also show what it looks like on the inside. Maybe some better lighting. So it's all normal in there, same as in the other tests. And also, yeah, I was going to show that it, it should still roll nice. So it rolls free. I'll do this all in one shot. No edits. Okay, almost ready. Fiddling with my battery here. And ready. And ready.